Hello, how's it going everybody? This is Etho and welcome back guys once again to another episode of Project Ozone 2. Check this place out. This is pretty cool, huh? Kind of weird. So I just generated a RF tools dimension. Uh, if you remember last time we were trying to make this energy condenser mark 2. We had all the different diamonds except for the purple ones. And I had to get a dimlet to do it, and after about, I think, 30 minutes from the end of last episode, <laughs> finally got the stupid purple one. I got like six or seven of the other colors before I finally got a purple one, and then I got like two of them all at once. So, generated a world here in RF Tools with the purple Kepler diamonds, and we can get out of here now that we got them. So we are going to go to the nether. As we do, and now we can make our energy condenser mark two. Okay, I'll go through this portal then. We probably should have set up a better way of like getting around in our world. Uh, apparently the reason I had trouble like when we tried before is because I linked three together and it's only like a one-to-one -one, uh, teleport with this, this device here. So it kind of glitched out and that's why I kept crashing from it. Uh, and then to get back home, we can use the eye of... Fugel. And we're back. Okay, cool. <laughs> so let's throw these into our furnace. We'll get a stack of them. And we'll put a couple into storage here. Alright, so get our diamonds. Not those ones, those are ender diamonds. We want the purple ones. And I guess we'll start duplicating them too. Another stars. Alright, very good. Very good. So... Uh, let's actually do it in this one. So check this out. This is what we're trying to do, is duplicate items quicker. At the current rate, it's like one... It's probably about 10 or 20 every second, right? Is what it looks like to me. So now that we got the rest of the, the recipe here, let's fill this in. And we have the condenser mark two. Oh, baby. So let's try this out. Let's see how quick it actually is compared to the, the level ones here. So we'll also duplicate some here and grab some more nether stars for the EMC value. Throw this stuff in here. Okay, let's check this out. We need something very quick, hopefully. Oh, yes. Okay, I, I was hoping for something kind of like that. I wasn't sure how quick it was going to be, but that is what I was hoping to see. That's even better than I expected, actually. All right, so that's good news. Uh, I just emptied it out here. I guess what we'll do is duplicate this so we can have uh, several of them. That actually takes a lot of EMC to do. What is it at? 12 million, okay. So we get a couple more of those going, and uh, while that goes, let's actually see if we can feed it into here quick enough. So let's try make an iron block singularity here. So in order to do that, we need to feed this thing like 40, 49,626, okay? <laughs> so, that's going to be a lot. Uh, star. And I did want to check something out. You know, some mods, they'll actually look if, uh, for chests nearby a machine. So maybe, I doubt it'll do it, but just maybe it'll check if there's iron in here and use that. No. That would be amazing. Because then we could have more than one inventory spot. This only has one, so it's going to be really slow, I think. So we can only put a stack in there per tick is the issue. Okay, so let's uh, let's throw these in here again. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, if we just use these item conduits, it's not going to be nearly quick enough. I'm just curious to see what it's going to be like with them, though. Uh, so let's get some speed upgrades. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so check this out. With this fully speed upgraded, it only puts in a stack like every second or so, I would say. And keep in mind, we got to make over a thousand of these singularities. So at this rate, <laughs> it's going to take forever, right? We got to find something quicker. So we could use these cables. Remember how fast these were? Can we turn this back on just to see? Yeah, like this was quick. So that's one option. Um, or you guys are telling me to check out the translocators. I think they were called translocators. Okay, so this is a its own separate mod, apparently. D oh, uh, we might not have those. 
Redstone. Oh, wait, I did make 40. Okay. A long time ago, I made like a stack of all the all the different chipsets just in case we needed them for something. I didn't want to wait around for for them to craft. So there's a liquid version and there's an item one. Okay, very good. So these are supposed to work at like a stack every tick, I think. Let's break this. We're done with this. It's not gonna work, right? <laughs> we know that. Thankfully, this thing can keep up, though. I'm pretty sure. That's good news. And I found out you have to insert from the top. It doesn't work on the sides with this. So I don't know how these work. Let's just try to do that. We'll have to figure it out here. Okay, do we have to connect them together somehow? <laughs> Ta-da! All right, guys. Thankfully, we have Direwolf in our lives, and he saves the day here. <laughs> Just watched one of his old tutorials on this mod. I guess this was, came out in 2013. It's really old. Uh, you have to have the input and the output within the same block. I think that's the big mistake I was making. And you can, like, switch between input and output just by toggling there. I think I think it's outputting from here and going into there. So let's get this one going, just so we can test this out. And then there's a bunch of upgrades you can apply to this. There's redstone, iron, uh, diamond nuggets, and glowstone. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. Okay, that's that's working very good. Again, it's not super quick, so I think we got to apply the glowstones to speed it up here. So let's try that out. Okay, so let's try right-click with this. That's good. Okay, that filled up pretty quick. I don't know if it matters if we apply it on the input, too. Okay, let's grab the stars again. I'm learning here, guys. This is me learning. I'm trying to understand how this mod works. Okay, so let's look at the right here. That's pretty quick. I figured, like, when I did the calculations, this should take about 30 seconds each one. I think that's that looks about the, that kind of rate, right? So I think that's a stack every tick. We got our first singularity. Aw, yeah. Cool. Okay. So that's going to work out. It's, it's going to take a long time still, though. <laughs> uh, let's try. I don't think this is going to work, but let's try to get another one going. Just out of curiosity to see what'll happen. We gotta try to figure out how to do this as quick as possible, though, because this machine here is very expensive, so if we can make it work faster, instead of having to make more of them, that is what we want to do. Oh, I should have grabbed for the other one, too. So I think it's empty. Okay. And obviously, we're gonna have to hook this up to the ME system. Yeah, it looks like only one can go at a time, right? Okay, so here's the plan, guys. Remember last episode, I said it was going to take about 10 hours to make 45 of these Eternal Singularities? Because there's 33 different kinds. We need 45 of each, and each one takes about 30 seconds or more. Yeah, math math is brutal sometimes. So we're going to try to get two of these new Tronium Compressors to bring it down to five hours crafting time, hopefully. And I think the way we'll do this is we're going to upgrade our... Our setup here so we're gonna get rid of the mark ones how did we have this set up this is a mess <laughs> I guess that's that's what we had to do though the problem with the mark ones is they don't have a input and output uh, inventory it's there they are both shared right so that made it kind of complicated these new ones though they have input and output so that'll simplify it um, so I think we just need to hook up some uh, interfaces underneath them, and then pump them directly into the ME system, hopefully. If we can figure out how to get there. I think it's over here. Alright. Yeah, okay, so underneath each of these, we'll have an item uh, translocator going into an interface. Alright. I don't want to, like, send them all into one interface just in case they can't keep up, because they're going to be going at a, a stack every tick, right? So we sh should probably give each one its own interface. And we want to upgrade. I think only on the export does it matter. Oh, I clicked anyways. Okay. Whatever. I was trying to toggle these, so it goes input into these. And also, let's set this up so the nether stars automatically go into these condensers. 
we had it set up to do that originally with the, the old ones, but then I thought it was wasting the EMC, and it turns out it wasn't. So let's let's hook that function back up. So it's going to pull out of the interfaces here any nether stars. And we have a filter, so they it keeps a stack in there. And then once we connect this cable up to the interfaces, it should all start working, right? Do we need to connect each interface, or we'll power it through through them? First one's hooked up. Uh, I think the second and third one are hooked up, too. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh, yeah, there's three lines in the cable, so that works. They're all hooked up. Good, good. Let's go test it out. So it should be feeding them nether stars, and as we change the filter here... They're all getting them. Yep, yeah, okay. So if we want to duplicate something, we just have to put a, a filter in for it. Let's go iron. Oh man, I'm getting a lot of lag. I don't know if it's because of what we just did there. Okay, and is it automatically putting it in here? Because that's what it should be doing. Yeah, it's going in there too. Okay, cool. Very cool. That looks quick. And uh, actually, maybe we'll just keep these three here for our general use. We'll set up our own dedicated uh, system here for the neutronium compressors. Because we're only going to have two of these to begin with, most likely. So we can just put them over here. And basically, I think we'll do it much the same. We'll have an interface with a item conduit feeding this thing nether stars. And we'll speed upgrade it. We want to tell this to give it nether stars. Okay. They're going in. So basically, whatever we put here in the filter is what singularity it's going to make. Oh, ta-da! <laughs> Switch it! One, one last thing there. Alright guys, so the long journey has begun here. We're starting to make eternal singularities. Uh, we need 45 of them to make the Wand of Animation, and basically I'll just keep my eye on this. Once we hit 45 irons, I'll switch the filter to gold, and then kind of just go down the list here. And we'll try to get another one of these running uh, next to it here. That way it'll hopefully go quicker, as long as we can feed it enough EMC. So I'm going to make another one of these, hopefully. And the big the big thing is it takes neutronium. But since this took so long to do, I think these are full again. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do another harvest, and that should be enough to make one more. Awesome. Okay, so we got enough stuff together to make one more neutronium compressor. And even after doing that, we still have... About 120 ingots worth here. And that's enough for the Wand of Animation. So it's just these singularities and a couple other little things we need. And then we're good to go here. So it's it's mostly just a waiting game at this point. we got to wait for these to finish crafting. And while that happens, we have to do some other stuff. <laughs> Not that uh, we're short on things to do. Alright, but we'll get this other one going. Uh, check this out too. With the iron one... Uh, being crafted right now, we are still gaining EMC from our nether star farm there. You see the numbers going up. It's not going down. I think once we get this other one going, though, it's going to it's gonna go down probably pretty quickly, actually. <laughs> so we'll start crafting gold. And let's just check it out here. Uh, nether stars. Yeah, it's dropping darn. So at times, we might need to shut that off, too. But it's going to be quicker than 10 hours, at least. That's that's what I'm looking for here. So th we'll leave those going for, for a while while we do other stuff. So let's check out our quest book. Okay, uh, what did I want to do? I've been informed the way to unlock the other quest chains is to do this one here. we got to get this battle suit made. And to do that, we need the Dark Solarium Jetpack. Okay, so let's break this down into pieces. We have the Dark Plate made already, and we have a Vibrant Jetpack. It's just not armored, but we can use it for making that piece. And that's going to simplify things a lot. But we need to get some of this Dark Solarium. So we'll throw it in here. Get that crafting. It's really slow, isn't it? Okay, let's look at something else. <laughs> and then... Uh, I, I know we need a bat for this, too, so let's check out our soul vials and see if we caught one. I think I remember doing that. Uh, next spirit. Oh, that's that's taxes. What are you doing in there? 
It's weird, you can catch him, but then he just respawns. Like, you can't get rid of the guy. <laughs> oh, bad. Okay, good. Good, good. Do we have any safari nets on spare here? No. Let's make a new one if we can. Good. So I gotta place this guy and catch him real quick. Yeah, he just kind of disappears when you place him. Okay. Uh, gotta make sure he doesn't get away on us. Got him. Okay. Whew. And I guess we'll go and start spawning him in here. Yeah, let's go exact copy. No. Put the bat in there, and we'll catch up a few of them. Grab a couple extra soul vials. Do, 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 do. Very good. All right, does that work? Are they going to spawn? Yeah. Cool. So we need these bats for um, something called the control flight unit, I think. Control or flight units. Yeah, these over here. Um, we got to take a flight control unit, combine it with a bat and some experience. This is that dark solarium stuff, so that's going to be easy. <laughs> Sometimes I, I question myself, what am I doing with my life? I'm running around a chamber here trying to catch bats. How are we doing here? Dark Solarium. We have nine made. They definitely take a bit of time, don't they? It's not one of those things we can duplicate either. Uh, so we'll make a recipe to create that stuff. And that has to go into the, whatchamacallit? I should know this. Alloy Smelter. <laughs> I had to look at the name. I couldn't remember for some reason. Alloy Smelter. Put the recipe up there. Okay, so now we can auto-craft that. And we're going to add a thing here for the flight control. Basic parts. Okay, got that. That goes into the molecular assemblers. So now we'll be able to create some of those. Flight control. Try to make two for right now since we don't have much solarium. Why didn't that work? Wait a minute, what? What's it stuck on? Oh, on fused quartz? Check this out, this is so cool. So all we gotta do is put the items there, and it's like, if we look at it, we got thousands already. <laughs> it's so much better, isn't it? Oh, we should have made this thing a long time ago. Very good. So we're able to auto-craft these flight control units, the empty ones, and then we can just take them and put them in here. We could automate that, but honestly, I don't think we need too many of them. So we'll just probably do it manually. So we got two of them. That's probably enough for this jetpack. If I was to guess, let's check this out again. So I think we need them for this. Yeah. Uh, we got to... Oh, no. Oh, it's only one step. I thought we'd have to go, like, make a million of these. <laughs> or, like, go through a million steps to make the, the vibrant one. It's not too bad. Uh, let's auto-craft a couple. Whoa! That sucked up the nether stars quickly. What happened there? Oh, there. Oh, I guess we got to be careful with anything with a high value. It's gonna chew through pretty quick. Okay, back to back to this. This one does not have an EMC value, so I guess that's good. We did it because uh, at the very least we'll be at that stage. Wait, what happened? We got two. Okay, good. And that's one or two more pieces done here. We need the glider wings. Conductive silicon. Ooh. Okay, so next up here we take our silicon armor plating and we mix it with conductive iron. Okay, and then we take the conductive iron plating, we mix it with electrical steel. And finally we take the electrical plating and combine it with dark steel. <laughs> Last step, okay. Uh, one of these plates is going to go towards the jetpack. So let's see if we can find that jetpack. I think we left it in the chest here. Yeah. This is also where we have our dark plate. Okay. Uh, can we duplicate this before... Yeah, let's duplicate this before we, uh... Ooh, that's gonna make a lot of them. Okay, that's fine. And do we have any extra dark plates in there? If not, we should duplicate it too. Doesn't look like it. So we'll make a couple extra of these too. Oh, 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 okay, that's probably way too many. <laughs> oh, it only made 25. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, so we combine this with this. 
or not. How do we do it, guys? Maybe because it's not fully charged? Um, hmm. Let's fully charge this. Okay, let's try again. I might be doing it wrong. Looks like I'm doing it wrong. Okay, let's look at the, the recipe here again. Solarium jetpack. This one here. Oh, does position matter? I think it was a shaped recipe, that's why. Not shapeless. Aha! So we got the plated jetpack. That's one more piece. I'm a little worried about our frame rate here, guys. It's, it's getting killed. We're down to like 30, and I think it might be from these. So we might need to like shut off some farms and stuff here uh, if it gets too bad. Right now, I think it's still, still slightly tolerable. But we got to be careful with it. Uh, can't get too crazy with any of our machines at this point. So we got the glider wings made. Those were with the conductive iron again. And last piece we need here. Oh. <laughs> of course, it needs one electrical steel. And now that I converted them all. Um, what is this thing? Capacitor. Oh, this thing does not look fun, guys. All right, through the magic of editing, it's going to be real simple. Final piece, armored octactic capacitor bank complete. <laughs> and with that, we should have all the crazy pieces here. Uh, vibrant, maybe because it doesn't stack, it didn't go in, hopefully. And the thing we just made, where'd it go? Oh, I don't know how to spell it. Capacitor something. Dude, where did it go? Oh, it's in my inventory. Duh. <laughs> All right, guys. We got ourselves a dark, dark solarium jetpack. I can't speak. I'm so excited. So that was also part of another quest on this page. The last quest in Delta has been sitting there forever. That's all done. One quest chain done. And now we hop over to Zeta. And thankfully, it's not too difficult once we get this, because we've made these battle suit plates already. Um, battle, battle suit. So we need the chest plate. Yes. Okay, that's another quest done, I believe. Yep. We made those other three pieces uh, in a different episode. Uh, now we need upgrade tokens which are nether stars plus ZBQ-7s. I think we might have done those. ZBQ, yeah. Let's do the duplication trick since it lets us. Okay, and that should be pretty easy too now. Token, we just need four, I think. One, two, three, four. Good, that should be another one done. Okay, how do we do this? It's just that plus uh, spider eye, really. Spider eye, do we have any? Oh, we do, good. Whew. So take that, put our upgrade tokens here. And I got it wrong. <laughs> Battle. Uh... Oh, maybe each one has a different item it needs. Okay, let's, uh, let's just grab these. We'll do the helmet first since we looked at it. Right. Okay, that's our helmet. And let's see what the other ones require then. It's probably not spider eyes for all of them. Feather. Lapis. Redstone. Okay. So, feather first. Feather. Okay, that's one piece. Then we take that. Uh, oh, I forgot already. Lapis. <laughs> How good is your memory, guys? How Do you have longer than a two-second memory? If so, you should feel very special. Okay, and redstone. Excellent. So that should unlock the rest of our quest chains, pretty much. So are you guys ready for this? This is where things get crazy. Lambda unlocked. We have four done there already. So we found draconium. We've charged it. We've collected souls. Oh, I guess we have to pick them up. Okay, souls. Remember when we did the diamond spike enchantment? Alright, so we've done that. And we've made, 
We've made Awakened Draconium. We've automated it too by now. Okay, so that's cool. Did we unlock... Oh, we didn't unlock Moo. Hmm. Okay, well, before we get too distracted here, let's just uh, go ahead and open up some bags here because we got a lot on us now. <laughs> uh, we got some basic bags. Oh, I hate getting that one. Good bags. And epics. That's a good one. Garbage. Garbage. Okay, greater bags. Some more hearts. Eh. And finally here, a legendary. Yeah. <laughs> Disappointment. Okay, most of the stuff is garbage. Best thing we got there was the compressor, because we might actually use that in the future. Good, and I kind of want to check out the, this armor we got. Tell you what, I'm just going to leave this stuff on the ground, I think. Except maybe the elite bin, in case it's expensive. Yeah, we'll put these two things in storage. Okay, let's charge up this armor. I kind of want to see how it works, because I've never used it before. Oh, it takes a ton of power, or else it just charges. Oh, it just charges slow. Okay. Well, let's... Uh, I'm impatient. <laughs> let's go ahead and try it out. And get rid of our kitchen garbage. And... Okay, so... This stuff uh, looks kind of cool, right? Reminds me of Metroid. I like it. Can we... We can fly, so it's creative flight, just like our Zavisio stuff. And... Does it do anything else special? Oh, we have... Uh, oh, so it gives us night vision, speed 3, haste 2, strength 2, water breathing. Well, that's pretty good. Our armor bars only show uh, six, 6 armor, though. Hmm. Uh, I guess the other question is, can we enchant it? Do we have any books? I guess let's just test it out on the on the boots here. We got a Feather Falling Four book. Oh, it looks like uh... yeah, it says Feather Falling Four. Okay, so we can enchant it too. We can put Protection Four on everything, and then it's probably really good. So we might actually upgrade. Uh, one thing I really hate about the Zavisio armor is it takes damage. So, like I just fought a bunch of Gaia Guardians again today uh, while I was waiting for for things. So. Uh... Got to repair it again. <laughs> well, if this stuff, it takes no damage, then uh, it'd be a lot easier to maintain. Anyways, I think we should probably wrap up, although I don't like how it warps our view with the speed. That's a bit annoying. And there's particle effects, too. Eh, kind of a hard call. We might stick to the purple stuff, after all. But yeah, anyways, guys, uh, maybe let me know in the comments what you prefer. And we are going to wrap up here for today. So hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching as always. And I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.